My heavenly home is bright and clear. I feel like traveling on. No pain, no pain can enter there. I feel like traveling on. Yes, I feel like traveling on. I feel like traveling on. Jesus, we pray today, God Almighty, 
that our soul will say yes to your will and our soul will say yes to your will. We declare and decree that your anointing will come in this place. Come Holy Spirit, we need you. Come Holy Spirit, we pray. Come in your strength and your power. Oh God, come in this own special way. We pray today, Holy Spirit, that you will lead, that you will guide, and you will protect, take to control, and commit today's service into your hands. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Blessed Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. Bless the name of Jesus. We the hand and worship Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. The most great, the Holy Spirit, which is the head of our life. Bless the Lord, great. Our pastor, the evangelist, choir, the family, friends, and everyone that is here today. I must greet you in the mighty name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We're here at the our homegoing service. Bless the Lord and Mom was a happy person. Bless the Lord and want us to sing and worship because she loved to see worshiping. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. So at this time, we're going to have the first lesson to be done by her daughter-in-law, Janet Burton. And it comes from Psalms 90, from verse 5 through to 12. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. 
praise the name. The holy hymn. Bless the name of the Lord. The holy Give God some praise in the house. The Let's give God some praise in the house. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. 
Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise God. I must first the greetings and to the clergy. Praise the name of Jesus. And all those who are sitting in the restaurant, we greet you, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the boys and girls, we greet you in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Today, I am here to show my last respect, praise the name of Jesus, to Mother Burton, who was a mother of our church in Beristan, praise the name of Jesus. Praise God, but before I say anything, today I know a Bishop Brown, what a life, our Pastor Rene Brown, they will be here sitting today in this congregation, but it has taken the and burned very before him and gone off into a different world. Today, Mother Bird has taken the word praise the name of Jesus. Praise it. But as the writer said, there is a time and there is a season and there is a purpose and an in heaven for everything. Praise the name of Jesus. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to crop up that is planted. Praise a time to rent and a time to sow, a time of war, a time of peace, a time of love, and a time of peace, a time to weep, and a time to mourn. So today, we are sitting in this congregation here with a lot of mixed feelings. Some will be mourning, and some will be crying because their loved one has been gone. Praise the name of Jesus. But it has promised to man once to die, but after death here comes the judgment. Praise the name of Jesus. And the writer tells me, say, I saw a book was open, and another book was open, which is the book of life. And all the dead was judged out of that book according to their words. Praise the name of Jesus. According to my words. Praise the name of Jesus. Today, I'm here while Mother Burton was a member of our church. Praise God. He was the mother of the church. And he played an integral role, praise the name of Jesus, in our church. Mother Burton, you don't have to go and tell her she know exactly what to do because she was the mother of the church, praise the name of Jesus. I remember time passed and gone when we was going out and Mother Burton would come along and say, he can. Okay, I'm mean, not going to go, you know. But, hold this, fear your fear. And give me the after me, give me the fear, and give me something to buy a drink. And all who know Mother Burton, knowing that he was a mean person, Mother Burton was a very, very kind person. All who knows him, whenever we have convention, praise the name of Jesus, Mother Burton will come. You know, he, work, he usually work a lot, plant a lot of food. He usually keep by the back and bring it to the church, and she has come with her money and she supports the church. A very, very large praise the name of Jesus. Today, I stand here in resolute today to give her thanks and to say thanks to her for the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise it. Praise the name of Jesus. When I know Mother Burton, and we have been, let me tell you something, Mother Burton is a person who you could talk to. A person who you could sit down and talk to. He always like reason me because he can come here and let me talk to you. Praise the name of Jesus. Well, he's gone today. He's, the reason why I can speak today is because the blood is still running warm through my veins. But he is cold right here now. No matter how you preach, and no matter how you sing or how you talk, he can't hear you. He's gone. She's gone. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. I said she's gone. She cannot hear nothing. Praise the name of Jesus. And today, let me tell you, we who are here, has to make it right with God. Praise the name of Jesus. We have to make it right with God. Because none of us that sit inside here today know who will be the who will be next. Praise the name of Jesus. So we have to make our way straight before man and God. Praise the name of Jesus. Yes, praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. So today I stand here and I give thanks of our life that she lived here on earth. Because this earth promised to no man. But as the songwriter said, this earth, this earth is, home, is not my home. I've just passed in through. The shadows are laid 
somewhere beyond the blue. The angel beckoned me from heaven open door, and I cannot feel a home in this world anymore. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Let me tell you something, man. The time is going to come. As the Bible said, the dead in Christ first shall arise, and they that remain and alive shall call up to meet him into the crowd of the year with a shout and the voice of our angel. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise God. I'm, I'm looking at the program here and um, was looking to see my virgin from Opel down here today. Praise because I was on their side Sunday gone. Praise the name of Jesus. But two Sunday and straight they were here in the Daily Church because we have a baptism the Sunday before and the last Sunday in May we have a night and day convention and they were here. So I went back Sunday to give them a strength. But they told me the deacon, if you don't see me, we don't get the drive because their son is the one who transport them down here all the while and, and he worked in Kingston. So I have been looking for them for morning, I haven't seen them, praise the name of Jesus, and I know the reason why they are not here today, praise God. But I am here to represent both the Hopewell and Bailey praise God, praise the name of Jesus. And today, I, I must say today, the peace and love and happiness continually to be with the family of the, of the birthing family, his niece and nephew and all his friends. May God bless you and keep you, and may His face shine upon you and give you peace in Jesus' name. Amen. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Bless His holy name. Well, hope well is not here, so we're going to move on to the remembrance. Sometimes it was too early to be started at 7. 
but I am forever grateful because he made sure I was never leave. Additionally, he compelled me to be the very close to a long lady. And in my job, I now have excellent work and it's because of my grandmother. Those classes of memories will forever be my comfort that I have never lived the life without my beloved father. Rest in peace, Mama. Dear Grandma, I am happy I got the chance to be around you in the last few years that you spent with us here on Earth. I am happy I was able to lift you up, made your teeth, took you food and bought you gifts. I am happy I got the chance to do a few of these things that you did for me when I was a child. As I remember you, I remember how you used to spoil me and gave me the best, the best of everything. You call me a pup. And you are a little mama. I leave this for you. Or that for you. My grandmother always had something to give you. To give. My grandmother always had something to give me. And no matter how small it was, she was a give up. And I was. And I am happy. She taught me how to share, no matter how small it was. You may have passed on, but your memory would always be on within us. Thank you for your sacrifices, your care and concern, your love and everything that you have done for us. We are grateful and thank you all. Grandma Grove is empty. She is moved away. She departed this life and is going to stay. There was no struggle but the great peace. She closed her eyes and took her leave. As I remember my loving grandmother, my heart is broken all over again. When I was a child, my grandmother would ensure that my siblings and I had hot home-cooked meals to eat daily since our mom was away working. On the weekend, she would ensure that our clothes were washed and our uniform were prepared for school and ready each Monday morning. She was one of the most hardworking women I know, and as I remember her, I am happy. I got the chance to spend some time with her. Before she passed, the last two years, she wasn't doing her best. But we would ensure that she was. She had her warm cooked meal, like she did for us when we were a child, and we would take it to her house. She used to tell me how she was grateful, and that was able, and that was able to take her meal and ensure that she was always clean. Sometimes when I would take her meal. She say, Blackie, you are the best. And then she proceeds to ask me how my son Kevin was doing. There are so many memories that I have of my dear grandmother, and I will forever keep her in my heart. Mama, I love you with all my heart, and I know that you you move up there watching over me with my beloved Lucia. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. Well done. Bless the name of Jesus. Nothing is wrong with crying. And the Bible says, Blessed are they that mourn, or they shall be comforted. Bless the name of Jesus. We we'll move on to the tribute. We have five tributes here. And we're going to be coming in the same order. We have Richard Azan, member of Parliament, and NWC of Grandchildren, Oswald Burton of Daily Stand Community, 
Patrick Weiss, grandson, and Jordan Robinson, granddaughter, Jordan. All right, please come in that order. Come.
But one thing I can say. Yeah, yeah. Hurtful is part of a funeral. Hurtful is part of a funeral. Is that when that casket went down into the grave? That is the end. So I'm here to lift you up and lift up all the family members. And I'm, when they leave, I say to you, the legacy what she leave in this community, let us cherish it. Let us cherish it and let it live on. Every time they see any member of the family, they must see this great woman before them. May her soul rest in peace. I greet you in Jesus' name. 
I'm thanking God to be here today on this occasion. I miss one of my dear friends, and when I said friend, Miss Olive was dear to me. When she come about on our friendship knit together, and believe you me, it was, she was like a mother to me. And we were going on for years with that great love, the love of Jesus. One day I said to her, I said, Mom, what happened? You would try a thing outside like how you have the children and everything, she said yes. I said, all right, prepare for Friday. And I try my best and from that, I start to help her out. When I tell you something, when a person is honest, is one of the greatest things on earth here. She's well honest. She come in every weekend and she give no problem to face me. And she treat me the best she can until she start to rally out for herself, start to work her ground, have a nice feel. A lady who love to give joke Lively after all times, no matter how the problem is, she's well ready to give you joke and have you to say something. I remember one of the time when they leave the ground coming home, George and Mumos coming home, Mumos and the donkey. And George said to mom, Mom, say, who you know? Mom, mom said, who you charge? She gone to the hospital. I said, my God. And I have a bunch of coconuts. I'm just a prayer that it could be before her, anything happened to her. And believe you me, she never get to get the coconut. Believe, believe us, friends and loved ones, one of the greatest things on earth is to live good. Is joy, peace, and happiness must be amongst us. No matter you have a talk about heaven, and talk about Jesus and you know how love. And we know how love. And we know how charity. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We all will be in pain. But believe as friends and loved ones. Have a Christ. And let Christ be your Christ. No let no other God be your God. Because he's a lover. He died on Calvary Cross. He shed his blood for us. And because of that, we are here today. Love one another. Love one another. To God be the glory. Let us love one another. Let us lift up one another. Like one children, mother's children, and one father's children. God bless you. God will smile upon you. And let we live continue as boom gone. As we said. Loving Ali is gone. And we meet him by the grace of God. Sweet Ali, your soul rest in peace. God bless you. in Jesus' name. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. 
Um, before I do my item, I just want to thank Mama Olive because I just want to thank her for my dad because if it wasn't for my dad bringing pork every time when he go country or Portland side, I wouldn't love pork today because when we go to work and we had a lunch, is straight pork. Pork and food. Huh? <laughs> so when I had a um, lunch at work, is pork and yam and banana and everything. We strictly cut out rice. But for him, and another thing, when we see him bring out the tire rim and get the big pot, yeah man, potato pun time. So, um, and it's funny too, because God has a way of setting up things. Um, this scripture that came to my Bible app, it says, When thou passest through the waters, I will be, there, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow with thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. So it goes to show that whatever trials and tribulations come our way, God is always with us. I just want to be where you are, dwelling there in your presence. I don't want to worship from afar, draw me near to where you are. I want to be where you are.
Instead of giving you a list of adjectives to describe my grandma, I would like to tell you a story to let you draw your own conclusions as I go along. Story entitled Mother's Hands. A young mother laid her baby girl to sleep in her cradle. I'll just go to the labor for a minute to give it, she thought to herself. I haven't had time to talk to her for such a long time. But while she but while she first were chatting, the city fire alarm sent chills through them both. Don't worry, said the neighbor. Most likely has fire. There are lots of them at this time of the year. I'm sure the fire isn't anywhere near here. But listen, said the mother. I think I hear a fire engine coming this way. Look, people are running down the house, running toward my house. Without another word, she dashed into the street and ran with the gathering crowd. Then she saw it. The whole house was on fire. Smoke and flames were already pouring through the road. My baby, she cried frantically, my baby. The crowd was thick around the house, but she pushed and shoved until she reached the door. A fireman stopped her and said, you can't go in there, you will be burned. But the mother cried, let me go, let me go, as she broke free and dashed into the flaming house. She knew just where to go, running through the smoke and flames. She sees her precious baby, then turns to make her way out. But by now, the smoke made it very hard to see and breathe. Nearly overcome, she swore and fell, and would not have made it out of the hall safely if a fireman had not picked her and carried her out. What a cheer went up as they appeared. Baby Marjorie was not hurt at all. But the poor mother's hands were terribly burned. Kind friends took care of the baby while the ambulance took her to the hospital. The doctors did their best, but her hands were terribly scarred. Years later, when Marjorie had grown, she suddenly noticed something she had not noticed before. Her mother's hands were so ugly. Why are your hands so ugly? she asked her mother when they were alone. Tears filled her mother eyes as she remembered how frightened she was the day the house burned with, with her. Mar Tears filled her mother's eyes as she remembered how frightened she was the day the house burned with Marjorie asleep and aware of the day. Have I said something wrong? Marjorie asked when she saw the, the tears. No, my dear, replied her mother, but there's a story I need to tell you. Then she told Marjorie the story of, how, of the fire. She told how the people tried to hold her back, how the fireman tried to stop her, how she battled the flames to rescue her, how she fell and how she was rescued. Then she held out her scarred hands for Marjorie to see. They are ugly in a way, aren't they? Mother said softly. For me, the only thing that mattered was to save your life. No, it was Marjorie's time to shed a few tears. Oh, mother, she cried, you must love me so. Those are the most beautiful, beautiful hands in all the world. No, this was the type of person my grandma was, giving selfless love not to own her children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, or even great-great-grandchildren, but to everyone else who came around. For my grandmother, may I inherit half her strength. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Better days are coming by and by. When we reach a city in the
Yeah. 
Don't wait till the person pass out. You're going to give the flowers. Give the flowers while the person alive. Because it no matter where you're going to come and stay. He's not here. The person is not here. And then people will criticize you. Because I say, when you need a cold water, no one would be here. Oh, bless the Lord. But you know, I can say this afternoon, Mom family take care of us. As far as I can see, they take care. So you know, have, no, 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 be shame this afternoon. When you can lift it and say, thank God, when you try on our best. Oh, bless the Lord. And that's what we know, we need to do. Take care of the person while the person alive. Because in a message, I want to give the person the flowers. When the person pass up, in a hell. And as I said, people criticize us. Oh, praise the Lord. So this afternoon, may God bless each and every one of your family. Stay strong. Stay strong. Just stay strong. Brace up for one another. Because there are times when we take up, we, the money can't save them. Save them with the person. Because the person is really God. As the song writer said, my hope is built and nothing less than Jesus Christ. The righteous, I dare not trust a sweeter frame, but only lean on Jesus. Let us continue to lean on Jesus. When we lean on Jesus, we will be ashamed. Praise God, we call us what you want. My hope is built and nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. And I'm encouraging family, those who are not saved, remember, Mom, Sister Ali, for your salvation can save none of us, none of us. So we not to seek the Lord while he may found. Call upon him while he near. May God bless. God keep. I wish you so rest in peace and life to try upon us. Praise the Lord. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. We have one more space to take an open tribute. So, if you are here, your name is not on the program, you want to come and say something. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. I am a daughter in law of Miss Ali. I met Eva Dice. I am from Westmoreland. He's from Portland. To end, of, to, to end of the parish of the island. Okay, I hear. When I met him, I told him I would like to meet his mother. So we went to Portland. That was not a very good experience. It was rain fell from my reach until I went back home. But I love Miss Oliver. She is a very nice lady. Whenever I spoke with her, she would say, Yes, my dear, may you will live together. And I want to tell the family this afternoon that Miss Olive has done what the Lord has asked her to do. She could not do anything else. She did it according to how she knows best and how the Lord led her to do it. And I am here, a part of her, her family, and I want to say I am glad to know the family. Some of them I don't know very, them very well. And if you notice in the Bible where Jesus had his disciples, he knew some of them more than how he knew the others. He had a whole lot of them for him, some for the breakfast, some for everything else. But I want to tell you that God made variety. Look inside here, look at everything. All of us down here, we are not the same. We are not the same, but we are gifted. We, don't, we might look alike somehow, we might have the same name, but God made us in his special way, right? And we want to tell, we, I want to tell you this afternoon, we love each other. If you look at the plants that God made, they love each other. No matter where you plant them, they gone over the neighbor yard. And all of them intertwine. Acting with breadfruit, all of those. So, you know, no matter how, how you look, no matter, you must feel special in your own way. That God made you special. And it's all it brought up many, many children who are different varieties, just like how God made variety. And Miss all it love you. Some of us love each other, but we don't know how to show the love. We don't know how to show the love. Everywhere we go, we don't know. How. So we must.
try to see how we can show the love, right? Okay? And I want to bless you this evening. I want to thank you, mighty God, for this person, this person going here. I want to thank you for Miss Olive children that Miss Olive has gone, but they will be always be taken care of by you. God bless you all. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. There's a lot to say about Moon. Bless the name of Jesus. We're going to be collecting the offering this time. When you talk about rice and peas, when she cooked that and give to you, you want to eat the pot. When she cook our soup, you want to drink the pot. <laughs> I wonder why the children can do it so well. Alright? So we're going to be collecting an offering at this time. So we're going to be doing this song, There's a Land Beyond the River. When we call it. There's a land beyond the river that we call the sea forever. And we only hope to serve by faith in One by one we gain the portal. They will send we sing the portal. When the ring goes, goes and spells for you and me.
what I did. Hallelujah. Glorious day. Hallelujah. That will be. Hallelujah. When I'm right, I say, how sweet heaven must be. Bless the name of the Lord. When all the trials, all the tests, all the problems here on earth finish. What a day. Bless the name of the Lord. What a day that will be. Hallelujah. We all have to make sure that our calling and election show. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
Brothers and sisters, let us go through it now. Because the day is coming where we are not going to go through it anymore. Oh, praise God. The Bible said it was appointed unto man once to die, but after death comes the judgment. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Once more, I want to greet the blessed Holy Spirit of God who is the head of my life this afternoon. I want to greet our moderator, Deacon Brown, and other officers of the church, family members, friends. I greet you in the most precious name of Jesus. Praise God. I want to also once more to extend my condolences to the Burton family in this time. Praise God. I want somewhere to don't be grieving because I'm leaving. And don't you cry when I say goodbye. Because where I'm going, oh, to that mansion way up in the sky. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. I want to read today from a well-known passage of scripture from 1 Corinthians chapter 15 from verse 50 through to 58. Praise God. And he said, Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Neither does corruption inherit in corruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye. At the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible. And we shall be changed. This, for this corruptible must put on incorruption. And this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption. And this mortal shall have put on immortality. Then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written. Death is swallowed up into victory. O death. Where is thy sting? O oh, grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the Lord. But be thanks, but thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory to our Lord Jesus Christ. 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable in vain. And this is the word of God to see that we say thanks be to God hallelujah 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 praise God the topic of praise God sister Burton is gone praise God they spoke about her that she was saved her grandchildren saw they spoke of her and they said all oh, the good things. But the question is, will you meet her someday? Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. One songwriter said, let's meet by the river over there. Said, if I leave you here, that's where you'll find me. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's meet by the river. Amen. Praise God. Who will inherit the kingdom of God? The Bible has us to understand, brothers and sisters. Those who are not living according to God's standard cannot inherit the kingdom of heaven. Praise God. Hallelujah. Those who are behaving as if, oh, praise God, everything is all right when it is not well cannot inherit the kingdom of heaven. The Bible said the idolaters, the fornicators, the sunderers, all of these persons cannot inherit the kingdom of heaven. God said in the word today to our heart, he said, flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of heaven. Brothers and sisters, it's coming to a time when some of us will die, but not all of us are going to die. But the Bible says that all of us shall be changed in the twinkling, in the moment of an eye. He said, when the dead in Christ shall rise, glory to God, who will inherit the kingdom of heaven? Will I inherit it? All my life I spend on this earth, will I inherit the kingdom of God? Oh, bless 
him in the name of Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Oh, praise God, brothers and sisters. When I look at the word and the gospel, today it's not about the life that we live down here. It is a life we live for Jesus. Because we can live a good life. We can take care of people. Or we can spend our living and give it to others. But when the day of judgment comes, will we hear well done? Or will we hear depart from me? I know you're not. I want to talk to somebody today because Mother Mary has done her part. She has done well. She lived a well life. Jesus said, Come on, my child. It is supper time. But today I want to ask somebody a question. If God should call you, will God call you or will He find you in a good state? are waiting on good name to send us to heaven. Yes. And good name can't send you to heaven. Yes. Am I talking to somebody today? Amen. Oh, praise God, you can't sell your house and give everybody. Yes. But if you don't live good, you can't send you up there. Oh, I want to talk to some people tonight today. Oh, praise God, the Bible said in St. Matthew chapter 25 that the kingdom of heaven is like unto ten virgins who took their lamp and went out to meet the bridegroom. But five were wise, five were foolish. But it's the bridegroom tarried and the virgins slept. Someone slept, but at midnight a cry was made. Mother Bird, midnight come, but the Bible said that midnight cry was made. And the virgin arose and the chimney lamp, but five were found wanted. Yes. Amen. Uh oh. Uh, can I preach like one feeling today? In the house of God, because you have some so called Christian, I uh, don't think they can make it to heaven, uh, but you can't make it up here. You have to live life, uh, and you have to live in blood. Uh, you have to say, All oh, to Jesus, uh, I surrender, all oh, to Him, uh, I freely give, uh, run the pleasures, uh, all forsaken, uh, take me, Jesus. Uh, Oh Jesus, oh Lord God Almighty, is that they are coming to church and singing on the choir and preaching gospel? It is telling God that when peace, like a river, attended my way, when sorrow, like sea, be the Lord, only above my daughter, now I shall be. Jesus, you're not every five feet. You say, Come unto me, 
I know you're not. Huh? Come on, my head. Because when midnight cry was made, the Bible said, All oh, virgin get up uh, and they trim the lamp. Uh, but some realize uh, that the lamp gone out. Uh, God Almighty, we in a church long time. Uh, I worship God, but we long gone. Uh oh. He can the curse now done. Oh, 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 Lord Jesus. You know, we realize, church, if a lamp weak wet, it have a light, you know, it have a burn for a while, but as soon as it dry up, it have a hold. Because if there's no oil in the lamp, then the lamp have a hold. Am I talking to somebody? If there's no substance in your Christianity, then something is wrong. Oh, God Almighty, we have to live. John said in the book of Revelation, 
I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And I saw a book open. And another book. Oh Lord Jesus. One songwriter said my name was up the top. And other things below. But I went unto my keeper. And I settled long ago. Long ago. Long ago. Oh Jesus have mercy. Some people need to settle some things. Oh Lord Jesus. Oh praise God. Let's give me two more minutes, church, and I'm and I'm done. Mm. Oh praise God. He said, Therefore, beloved brother and brethren, be ye steadfast and movable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as he know that your labor is in vain. Let's, let's take them down a little bit. Because you know what I realized, church? You see, the five foolish virgin, they live, but it wasn't being. Uh oh. Many crusade. Many prayer meeting. Many fasting. Uh oh. Lord Jesus, have mercy. And many Sunday service. And many jump in the spirit. Mm -mm. Oh Lord Jesus, enough mystery. Oh praise God, jump. Oh glory to God. When you look on them, they look like Christian. Mm -mm. Oh glory to God, they walk like Christian. Am I talking to somebody today? Oh pray, they sing and they pray like Christian. But when the Christ, when Christ came, he realized that they were not saved because something was missing. Uh oh. When I hear about the life of Mumli, when I hear about the life of Shilin, my own Shilin, you hear how good she lived the life? Oh, praise God. I know that there is some of you are Christian, he's one another. And they say, We got him. Uh oh. Who will inherit? The kingdom of heaven. Full time church. Before we stop preaching the gospel of funeral. Oh, glory to God. Because how we come off funeral, we hit. And we don't know something about life. And if we don't repent, that hell we gone. Jesus paid it, oh, paid it all for me. Even the brothers and sisters, I might not be rich, but don't worry yourself about me because my father is rich in ounces and land. I will inherit and inherit on a soul. Church, I will. Jesus have mercy. Oh, a steadfastness we are talking. Because, oh Lord, and that's why we sing rooted and dead 
in the name of the Lord, rooted and grounded in the Holy Ghost. And if you want to go to heaven, you got to be rooted and grounded. Rooted and grounded. Oh Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Oh Lord Jesus. Oh Jesus. Oh glory to God.
mighty Jesus. You are all that matters. Where am I going with this? Nothing else matters but Jesus. Everything that you have, Jesus only lend it to you for a while to brighten your life. But a time is coming when you have to leave all of that behind. Who will inherit the kingdom? God bless you today in Jesus' name. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And as we sat and heard the word, bless the name of the Lord. If you are in the congregation today and you want to say yes to Jesus, just lift your hand as we pray with you. Bless the name of the Lord. You have heard the word and we know that you are a wise people. You don't want to be like one of the foolish virgin. Bless the name of the Lord. That have limited oil. Bless the name of the Lord. You want to be like one of the wise ones. That your oil can't run out. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Just lift your hand. Bless the name of the Lord. I see one hand. I see two, three. Bless the name of Jesus. Four. Any more? Bless the name of the Lord. Okay, just pull up your hand as we pray for you. Righteous, great, everlasting Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we come to you today. We are nothing before you, but us love of clay, almighty God. Hallelujah. And Father God, as we see some of your children indicate, hallelujah, that they want to serve you. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. I pray that you will give them another touch, Almighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your grace is sufficient to keep them, Almighty God. Hallelujah. As long as they say yes to your will and they believe, Hallelujah, then there's going to be a transformation in their lives. Hallelujah. Help them not to be conformed. To this world but to be transformed by the renewing of their mind hallelujah be with them now almighty god and help them that they continue to serve you as we say thanks in jesus name amen bless the lord at this time the eulogy will come to us from chantal brown parker Granddaughter. Members of the clergy. Moderator, family members and well wishers, good afternoon. Are you hearing me well? Yes. As the moderator mentioned previously, I am Chancellor Brown Parker and I have had the privilege of calling Olive grandmother for 89 years. I would first like to thank you all for being here today to celebrate the life of Olive Burton. The number of you who took the time to gather here is a testament of how important Mama was to, uh, to Mama was in many of our lives. Those who those we love don't go away. They walk beside us every day, unseen, unheard but always near, still loved, still missed, and very dear. The life given to us by nature is short, 
but the memory of the loved one is eternal, also unknown. Eulogy for the life of Olive Duncan Burton, also known as Miss Moon, Miss Olive, or Mama. On the bright and sunny morning of February 29, 1993, in the luxuriant community of Balcaris, Portland, Vernal and Adina Morant welcomed a beautiful baby girl who they named Olive. Olive was the third of nine children for Adina, seven girls and two boys. At the tender age of three years old, Olive entered the gates of the Fairfield Elementary School in the Bangaridge community, where she received her formal education. After leaving school, Olive, being the independent, self-reliant person she is, ventured out into Kingston to seek employment. She obtained her first job as an household helper in Papin, St. Andrew. Olive did not stay long in this job, as she complained about the choice of food and preparation style that they requested. One day, she was asked to prepare pig chatters. Mama said she searched the refrigerator for almost half a day looking for pig chatters, only to realize that they really wanted pig food. So she prepared, the, prepared and presented dinner that day, and not long after, she headed back to home in Portland. On her return to Portland, she met and fell in love with Wilton Dice, who fathered her first two children. This, however, began her journey of motherhood. She then had six more children. Being a young mother of eight children, she now knew she had a great deal of responsibility, so she started her farming. Olive did farming as well as other odd jobs to take care of herself and her children living with her at the present time. In 1969, she met and fell in love with George Burton Bongo, who migrated from Clarendon to reside in Bambridge, Portland. This union produced three lovely children, two girls and one boy, making a total of 11 children for Olive, six boys and five girls. Olive and her family then moved from Bancaris to reside in the community of Cartill, Portland, where they continued their farming and was now very established in the field. They did farming for many, many years. In the year 1984, the 5th of January, George decided he was ready to go back to Clarendon. So he took his partner and their three children with them. When they arrived in Clarendon, the children quickly adapted and started making friends. So the parents agreed to stay in Clarendon for that time. When it became evident that the children did not want to go back to Portland, they decided to sell their properties and settle permanent, permanently in Clarendon. So they bought their land and built their house on Lake Street where they reside until their departure. Olive, being the tenacious, ardent worker she was, quickly secured a job at Knox High School, tending to boarders. One fateful afternoon, while walking from Knox, she remembered that there is a shortcut somewhere on the road. So she decided she would take the shortcut on that particular day. So she turned up on Santa's Hill Road, and then she took the wrong turn straight to Bullocks. While walking, Mama was saying, oh, we can't reach a nine mile yet, only to realize that she took the wrong turn. When she finally reached home, it was way in the night, and all her plans of baking pudding for the children's lunch the next day was relinquished. She took After doing this for several, after doing this job for several years, 
Olive decided she wanted a change. So she started taking her brown produce to sell at the Mandiba market. She would go from Thursday night and not return until Saturday night. While going to market, she was introduced to several ways of fast ripening her plantings. One way was the fire ripening. So she was told to wrap the green planting, make a fire, and put the plantings over it to ripe. So Olive got down to business and made a wonderful fire. Set up her planting and had high hopes of untying her nicely ready planting. Only to realize that the plantings were so badly burnt, she had to throw them away, sell the other goods, and head it back home. That did not deter Mama. She went back to the drawing board, and this time she perfected the heart of red, a fire ripening, and would produce some of the prettiest red plantings around. And so her fellow colleagues became jealous of her. However, she persevered and did this for 18 years. Olive retired at age 69. In the year 1994, Olive decided to change her life and start going to church. So Olive and George decided to tie the knot. Olive then joined the Shiloh United Church of Christ Apostolate. She also attended the Fulton Church of God Baliston. But then she went back to Shiloh United and decided to take her water baptism. Olive became a member and served in the capacity of church mother. Mama would be, in the, be the main cook and organizer of the kitchen for all the events held at the church. But as aging took place, Olive became, became very weak and, would, and was no longer able to walk to church, but would be transported at times. When transport was not available, she would stay home and her pastor, Vivian Brown, who predeceased her, along with her other members, would come to share at her home. Olive was a very strong, hardworking woman that would not often complain about sickness. Until eight years ago, in 2013, after the passing of her husband, in, 2020, in 2014, Olive was diagnosed with diabetes to have with hypertension that she was previously diagnosed with. Her health was stable and cautiously monitored by her children. All her doctor's appointment was kept and met, but Mama did not like to take tablets at all. Therefore, she would be pressured, especially by her daughters who, were, who was around to ensure that she always take her medication. Sometimes mama would hide and throw them away so the container is empty. So when you come, you think that she would take the tablets. In the last two years, Olive's health began to decline. She was in and out of the hospital. In 2021, mama spent five days in the hospital. Thereafter, her health fluctuated and mama would say me na me soon dead you know me na stay long see me na have no use to myself again but in a short while she would bounce back and be back to her normal self mama was very resilient but on the 20th of may 2022 we realized mama was not the same she was not looking here she started refusing her meals and getting a bit confused. And so she was taken to the Percy Junior Hospital for further medical management. While at the hospital, we would get reports of her not looking so good. But on the 24th of May, 2022, she made a turn for the better. When she started responding verbally, with her daughters and was able to recognize who they were. They had a splendid vigorous time. Only if they knew it would be their last conversation. On the 25th of May, 2022, 
that's unforgettable morning, at approximately 3 a.m., we got the sad news that Mama was, that Mama had made her transition. Mama was no longer with us. Mama did not return from the hospital this time, as we were all hoping for. Sleep on Mama. Sleep and take a rest. We love you, but Jesus loves you best. You have run your way. You have finished your course. We are glad to have met you and to be a part of your life. You were the matriarch of the family that held us together. You have left to mourn 11 children, namely Felicia, Everett, Frank, Gwendolyn, Harley, Lloyd, Selvin, Silbert, Mark and Tony, Princess and Christine. 33 grandchildren, 31 great-grandchildren, 5 great-great-grandchildren, 3 sisters, 1 brother, nieces, nephews, church family, and a host of other relatives and friends. On the behalf of the bereaved family, we would like to extend a hearty thank you to the Baileyston United Church family and the Full Fruit Church of God for their continued prayers and visit to Mama. And to all those who contributed to this call, your kindness did not go unnoticed. We greatly appreciate you all. Thank you. May God continue to bless and keep you. And may he prosper you in all your ways. God bless you all. Thank you. seated and the as we pray. Father, we give you thanks, we give you honor. We glorify your name this afternoon. Father, we thank you for the life of your daughter. Father, we pray for the family that is left behind. Sons and daughters grandchildren, great-grand and great-great-grand. Lord, I pray that you will strengthen and keep them. I pray, Almighty God, that you will bind them together with cords that cannot be broken. Bind them together with love. Father, I pray, Almighty God, that you will give them the strength that they desire. That you are who you are. And Father, we know that you will keep them because you are with them. Lord, when they see only one set of footprints in the sand, it was then you were carrying them. I pray, Almighty God, that you will bless each and every one of them. Those who are not saved, Lord, I pray that you will bring them close to you. I pray, God, that you will hold them close until they feel your heartbeat. And don't let them wander away. Bless and keep them right now. As I look and say thanks. In Jesus name. Amen. And amen. Praise God. Praise God. Brothers and sisters. I want to thank you. I'm going to ask the Paul Bear to come. The platform party will leave. And the casket and the family are this time. We're going to do this song. God sent his son. They called him Jesus.
praise the God. We're going to do the first, first, well, we're going to do the first verse. We're going to march out because I believe the rain is upon us. Praise God that we don't want to catch us at the graveside. Amen. So I'm going to ask the singers to sing for me. God send his son. They call him Jesus. We know it. God send his son. They call him Jesus. He came to love. He and forgive. He lived and died. stream so guys thank you for watching you are hearing from care port one video service all the way in santa cruz saint elizabeth so thank you guys for tuning in you can subscribe to your channel if you don't subscribe as yet so you will be notified when i upload your full funeral service thank you for watching guys